today's video, we're gonna talk about hornworms. So it's the remnants of Hurricane Ida were coming through here yesterday. I was standing out here on the porch, admiring the rain like I do, because I was born and raised a Texan and that's what we do. And I noticed, see that vine there? Looking a little naked. See those vines up there? Looking a little naked. I'm pretty sure that's an indicator that we've got hornworms. So I feel kind of like if you've grown tomatoes outdoors for any amount of time, you've probably come across tomato hornworms. Please let me know if you haven't. Maybe that's just a southern thing. So let me know down below. Do, do you guys have tomato hornworms everywhere? Or is that just in the south? Anyways, so you come out here to your plants and you start looking and you notice, you see how oh, it's just the stems, all the leaves have been eaten off. Ew. Sorry, I just stepped on a tomato. Pretty sure we've got some tomato hornworms up here. Oh my gosh, I can see the one from... <laughs> Ooh, that was naked too. Okay, getting distracted. All right, the one that's up here is so big, I can see it from the ground. So I'm gonna turn around and show you. Zoom in on him so you can see him. Can you see that monster? He's eating all the leaves off. Gotta take care of him or he's gonna eat all of the plant. Ooh, I'm pretty sure there's another one here. I just have to figure out where he is. Best indicators are, again, the naked leaves. <gasps> but also, the poop. It looks like little grenades. That is hornworm poop. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I found him. Oh, it's so gross. You see him? Look how big he is. There he is. Another reason that I want chickens, I would just feed him to the chickens. But now I gotta get rid of him. Let's see if we can recruit somebody else to get these for me, because I don't want to. <laughs> oh, there he is. I spotted another one here. I saw these eating leaves. He's hiding next to us. Ray, where's your bucket? I have it. Takes <laughs> it out. Why? I don't know. It just does. See, it looks like little green grenades. There it is. Are we actually gonna film this? You think hornworms eat brown cherries? Apparently they do. Oh, look at that! Look at that! He's big. Look at that boy. What? Oh. Did he get all over you? <laughs> Did he spit at you? <laughs> he squirted it on me. Oh. <laughs> look at my arm. Is that all your warm friends? Yeah, we can name them. We can name them what? We can just name them Koala. Just Koala. Koala? Yeah, we're all naming them Koala. Wow. That's quite the collection. show everyone what we pulled off of the tomato plants today and this was just with a quick five minute walk through the garden just looking for tomato hornworms so tonight probably tonight because by tomorrow night the tomato plants will be gone tonight we'll show you our 
almost foolproof way to find hornworms. Okay, I have no idea if this is gonna show up on camera or not. Can you see how he's glowing? So what we have is a black light flashlight and you bring it out here and shine it on them and it makes them glow in the dark and they're much easier. Just like they're on your hand. <gasps> what? See right here. My hand. No. Oh. Right by your hand. There See them glow? What you got so far? There we go. That's how many hornworms we came up with after one day of searching. There's two different cans because one can is from the day. We just used a fresh one when we went out at night and searched with the black light. So I'm sure there are some we missed, but it seems to be pretty effective. What are your hornworm finding secrets? Well, there you go. That's how we look for hornworms whenever the time comes every year. It's not a glamorous job, but somebody has to do it. And the flashlights and the glow in the dark worms make it more fun. Always tell the family that we're gonna go hunting for glow worms. Get you a black light flashlight. I'll link them down below and go get you some glow worms. If you like what you saw here today and you had fun and you're gonna go get you some glow worms, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe. I'm working my way up to a thousand so we can get monetized and do a lot more fun videos like this. Hit that little bell icon next to the subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime I post more videos. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.